हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज कुशाग्र वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल डेफ टाउन इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल सो यूल बी सींग अ सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर यू टू गेट अ गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वेब डेवलपमेंट सो आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज योर इन लाइन एंड ब्लॉक एलिमेंट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट योर फॉर्म्स इनपुट टैक्स वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ इनपुट टैक्स सच एज योर ई मेल नंबर टेक्सट एंड वॉट इज नीम एट रिब्यूट वॉट इज टाइप एट रिब्यूट एंड वॉट इज फॉर्म एट a tag and what is your action tag and how to submit a form what is reset button how to create a drop down menu so i have uh, informed all these things in the previous video if you have not watched my previous video do watch that because uh, if you are uh, skipping the videos and watching that you won't be getting the uh, basic or the knowledge which i am giving because in the upcoming videos i would be using all the informations which i have given in the previous video and it might be that in the upcoming video when i would be jumping towards the more advanced topic you won't be getting a full understanding about what i am saying so do watch the previous video as well so let's start and i would be pasting the link in the description as well of the playlist as well as of the previous video so if you have missed do watch that so let me just start let me just uh, create one more file and say it as in line and block element dot html so yeah i have created one html file and let me just uh, generate the boilerplate code so as you can see i have generated the boilerplate code and let me just change the title to in line and block element so as you can see the uh, let me just first stop the live server and then open it again and i have changed the title so let me just check as you can see the server is running properly and the title is also changed to in line and block element so let me just shift back to the vs code so let me just quickly tell you what is in line and what is block element so let me just first write the paragraph and say this is a p A R A G R A paragraph and quickly show you. As you can see, it's coming. This is a paragraph. So you would be asking, like, or you would be thinking, why I'm showing you this again? As I've already informed you in the previous videos, and I've already tell you, like, how does paragraph works and how do we write? So there is a motive behind that. So let me just tell you what is the motive. So let me just quickly type another paragraph and type it as like this is. Also a para graph. Let me just change this and say also yeah. As you can see, this paragraph is coming in the same line. Uh, sorry, in the different line. The first paragraph is coming in the first line, and then the second paragraph is coming in the second line. So you would be asking, it's obvious because we have written the code in the two different lines, so that's why it would be coming in the two different line. So let me just change it and put it into the one single line. So now the code is in the same line. So you would be seeing like this is a paragraph, and then it would be like this is also a paragraph. So let me just say it's in the same in different line. So let me just refresh it. still it is in the same line so what is happening basically so this paragraph is your block element so what is block element block elements are basically those element which takes the full width of your viewport so what is the viewport a uh, viewport is the size of your screen or the size of your window and the block elements are those elements which takes the whole width irrespective of whatever the content you are putting into the tag or irrespective of anything if the content is say of 20 pixel widths only but still it will take if your uh, viewport width or your window of your screen is of say 200 pixel so, and your content is of 20 pixel only so still it will take the width of 200 pixels only it won't take the width of 20 pixel so yeah and let me just quickly show you the uh, example of inline element which is the opposite of the block element and let me just change this to span and let me just say this is a span let me just change this to span as well let me just say span and over here also span and let me just it yeah let me just refresh oh i think there is some issue yeah over here i have not changed it to span 
yeah as you can see this is a span and this is also a span is coming in the same line so in line elements are those elements which takes the width of the content only irrespective of whatever the size of your viewport is if the content is of 20 pixel width only it will take the width of 20 pixel only it won't exceed like it won't take the width beyond the content whatever we are putting so that is your inline element so let me just quickly show you like whether they are taking the full width or not so let me just add a little bit of css i would be telling you like what i am adding in the further video as well so just uh, see and watch i would be telling in the previous video de uh, in detail about and those who already know like what i am doing and it's comfortable for them so i would be adding a border in your paragraph tag and as well as in the style tag so what is border border is nothing but it will just add one uh, outline to the paragraph so just watch it and in the upcoming video i would be telling in detail what is border and what is margin and what is padding as well so i would be just adding a border so this is the inline css which i am adding so let me just quickly add a border say it as two pixel solid red and just check it yeah as you can see the border is coming let me just add it to another as well and then i will explain you let me just add the border over here as well and let me just change it to say blue and let me just add it over here as well say it as green and for this i would be using it as green yellow green yellow yeah and let me just show you as you can see the border is for all the element for as well as for the block as well as for the inline so as you can see the uh, block element is taking the whole width the border is the whole width of your viewport but for the inline element the border is only till the content is there so that's how this proves that the inline element are uh, taking the width of your content only and the block elements are the element which takes the width of your viewport so this was just for the information and to show you like block elements takes the whole width and let me just quickly shift back and let me just tell you few more uh, tags which are there let me just change it to div and show you like whether div is your inline or block element let's see so let me just shift back oh let me just remove this yeah and go back as you can see there is no change and it's still it's taking the full width so div is your block element and let me just tell you a few more as well let me just change it to strong and let me just change it over here as well So as you can see strong is taking the width of your content only so strong is your inline element and let me just change uh, and let me just show you about anchor tag and uh, as you can see the anchor tag is taking the width of the content so anchor tag is your inline element also so as you can see all the elements are coming in one single line because all these elements so your strong your anchor tag and your span all these elements are your inline elements so that's why they are coming one after the another and let me just quickly show you one more thing let me just add one more paragraph and say this is a third so as you can see this is a third paragraph is coming in the next line it won't be starting it from here although there is a space or your width is still left so just remember this in line or sorry block elements always starts from the next line irrespective of in the previous line whether the space is there or not there the block elements will always start from your next line yeah that's all so that's all about the inline and the block element and uh, now i would like to give you one homework so you have what you have to do is you have to go to the internet and search whether all these tags which i would be mentioning over here is your inline element or your block element so you have to mention it in the comment section and tell me the answer about this so you have to tell me about li tag and your em tag that is your emphasis and 
you have to tell me about div although i have informed and uh, yeah that's all and yeah one more tag you have to also tell me about the image tag whether all these tags are your inline or block or yeah and one more thing i have to inform you is that you can change the property like uh, with the help of css this will happen you can change the property of inline to a block and block to inline so this can be done with the help of a css and i would be telling you in the further video like how to swap or how to change it but this was just for the information yeah that's all for the day thank you and do complete the homework as well and if you have not watched my previous video do watch that as well and uh, yeah that's all thank you everyone Let